So I'm just going to show you how to do the wet into wet for the petals. I'm sure you'll all remember, but this is just a little refresher. I'm going to use um, Permanent Rose and Windsor Violet for these colours. My first task is to mix together the colours, making a fairly strong pool of colour. And as always, just test it out on a little bit of paper and a little bit more purple, I think, because the permanent rose is very strong. That's great. So much stronger than you think. What I'm going to do now is wet a petal with clean water. I can see, you can see I've done my drawing probably a little bit more heavily than I would like, but hopefully you can see it. So I'm just thoroughly wetting the paper with cleanish water. Mine is slightly tinted, just to help you to see on your way. And then I'm picking up a little bit of the colour with my brush and just putting a dab of it on there and letting it run. I'm going to very gently just push that back a little and just spread the paint out very gently out here. The important thing is that we don't end up with any unnecessary hard lines here. Now I feel my colour is a little bit too purple so I'm just getting a little bit of permanent rose and sticking it in with the pink. Oh that's better. While it's still wet just touching it in very very gently and letting it run out like so. And that is all you need to do. I can't do this. Ooh, just dropped colour on there that was a bit careless but nothing lost. I'm just taking off the big pool of colour here and here. I can't do this petal here because obviously if I wet that it'll run into that but I can do this one just as a second one to remind you. So clean water, very neatly done. I'm letting it sort of phase out as we get up to here, to the middle, pick up a little bit of the colour and just put it in, letting it run something like that, cleaning my brush a little bit and just spreading it out, teasing it out a little bit like so. So the idea is we have no hard lines within the petal itself. I can then, when this is completely dry, I can then paint in this one, but only when this is when it's completely dry. We can do the same with the yellow down here. So on this bit down here, you can wet this all the way down. You need to make sure the water goes everywhere so you don't end up with an unnecessary tide mark. Oops, the yellow is very strong, so just a little bit of tiny, tiny touch of Windsor yellow just going along in here and along here like so. And just help the paint along with the brush. So you get a nice soft effect in there like so. And that basically is a little reminder of how to do the wet into wet petal. For the background, I've put in a light wash of sap green onto to wet paper, wetting it first, then putting the sap green in, letting it dry. And then I'm just going to pick out some of the shapes. So there's a dark bit up here on the leaf in there. So I'm just painting this in with my Perylene green, which goes absolutely beautifully with the um, pinks and purples. Just 
bring you very neatly so really painting in the negative shapes so I've got a stem here which is a natural conclusion and another stem in there can then go in and do one or two other little negative shapes keeping it really simplified and making a nice pattern with all the greens and shapes there's a little bit in here and bit of stem there, a little bit in there. So as you can see, we've got very simply light green and dark green, which hopefully won't detract too much from the beautiful, delicate petals. Uh, be really neat. Use your very best pointy brush for that.